How are we going guys? The Loot Gamer over here and welcome to another episode of Really Cool Gaming Loot. Over here people, we've got the N80 RGB Deep Cool Notebook Cooler. I want to sort of show you guys all the really cool unboxing of this. In my previous video, I unboxed a really awesome Thermaltake 20 inch notebook cooler with RGBs on the side as you guys can see on the left. It was a really cool notebook cooler. Only bad thing fellas is that it actually broke yesterday. So I thought I'd sort of upgrade that and sort of see how good this really cool deep cool one is over there as you guys can see lots of RGB happening. But now apparently this is supports up to 17.3 notebooks so I'm really excited to, to sort of cool my GTX 1080 laptop the Alienware on the red there so I thought I'd just sort of upgrade that in 2020 and sort of show you guys the really awesome um, cooling solutions for it but without further ado guys let's unbox this product and see exactly what we get. Having a look at the packaging fellas over here RGB at the front really liking how it looks really nice and minimalistic over here it also supports some really cool features that I want to sort of show you guys now so as you guys can sort of see over there it has a fingerprint so you'll be able to sort of change the colors of this deep cool notepad by just touching the front which is so freaking cool also supports a metal panel so this whole notebook cooler is metal which is awesome also has two dual 140 millimeter fans at the front has a USB 3.0 and two supporting angles. So you'll be able to sort of adjust the angle in terms of airflow, which you really want. But let's unbox this right now and sort of see exactly what we get. Alrighty, fellas, now let's unbox this right now. Luckily, it's a really simple packaging app. All you gotta just do is just get rid of that. Really nice and easy. Well, bam. As we can sort of see the notebook cooler and it's nice metal glory. It's got some foam on the sides. That's all we get, no kind of uh, instruction manual. I guess it's pretty simple to sort of see. So yeah, we have it fellas, the notebook cooler. It's a nice plastic and whoa, nice sort of metal frame over here. So now let's have a look at the design of this and sort of see exactly what we get. Alrighty fellas, and the first thing we grab ourselves from the box is this lovely cable over here, which has two heads to it. So especially if you guys want to, want to grab yourself more power from the fans, I would definitely recommend connecting these two with the cable then side straight to your laptop. Let's place that, let's place that to the ground. Next over here, fellas, we can sort of see the deep cool notebook cooler. This is a really nice design, pretty minimalistic as we can see the two big fans at the front with a really nice metal frame here. Nice and firm, deep cool at the front. So got some rubber stuffs on the top and also at the bottom too to make sure that in case you guys decide to have it this way or the other way, it actually won't fall off, which is pretty awesome. At the bottom over here, you guys can sort of see a fingerprint symbol. So you actually be able to change the color of your RGB by just pressing this which is so freaking cool. On the side over here, this is really nice and plain. At the back, of course, we grab ourselves the USB in and the USB out. And the back over here, as we can sort of see, this is where the whole ventilation of air is. And of course, you are able to adjust the heights of this notebook cooler. So in case you guys wanna have this height, you guys can. If you guys wanna have the extended longer height over here, you guys actually can, which is a pretty big difference. And let me even show you guys now. So you guys can see there's a whole lot of space underneath it. So, you know, you'll definitely be guaranteed the best cooling. But now let's connect this straight to our laptop and sort of see the temperatures that we get. So here we have it, guys, the RGB on the laptop. What do you guys think of the comments below? But I think this is a really nice brightness to RGB. It matches the side of the laptop over here, as you guys can sort of see RGB. Very nice and consistent. One thing I did kind of hope was that it was consistent throughout the back of this notebook cooler. But it's only just at the front here. But it is pretty nice. And of course, the most important thing is just the cooling. But who doesn't love RGB? But as you guys can sort of see over here, there's a lovely uh, fingerprint sort of sign. I'm able to change the colors by just pressing that. So let me press that once. As you guys can see, it's sort of got like a different color cycle over here. It's turning purple, blue. If I touch it again, it'll just turn red and sort of blink a bit. If I touch it again, now it's only red and then sort of blinking red. So you get all kinds of modes. It's even shooting it in one direction, as y'all could see, which is pretty cool. If I touch it one more time, now it's yellow. Sort of yellow blinking, and that same sort of pulsating, which I reckon is pretty cool. So you get all kinds of modes by just touching and pressing this. And of course you are able to turn it off completely, but for 60 bucks, fellas, it's a pretty good price. Next. All the, all the different colors. Now, now that's blue. 
pulsating. That's got a, like a deep blue. Pretty cool. So I guess you guys get the gist of the RGB with this notebook cooler. Most importantly, let's check out the temperatures and sort of see the big difference. Alrighty, fellas, I've been playing myself some Black Desert online for about 30 minutes or so, and I'm playing everything on Ultra with the i7 7820HK processor with the GTX 1080, and look how bad these temperatures are. GPU sitting on 89 degrees, 90. CPU 92 uh, from CPU 1 all the way up until CPU 7. So as we can see, this is a really bad, um, you know, circulation of air and ventilation with the Alienware 17R4 from 2017. So I definitely need this notebook cooler. But now let's sort of see the difference between the temperatures from these horrible 90 degrees sort of temperatures up until we place this cooling mat on top of it. Let's check this out right now. Alrighty, fellas, the laptop is on top of the cooler over here, and let's check out the temperatures. I've been playing for approximately around 30 minutes, Black Desert Online, ultra settings on the remastered version itself. I'm getting pretty good frame rates, as you can see, 72 FPS. But now have a look at the drop of temperatures here. So I'm sitting on 80 degrees on my GPU and 80 degrees to, to around 78 on my CPU. And also at the best temperatures, but a massive difference between the previous temperatures that y'all saw before. The CPU is sitting on like 92 to like 95C and the crazy GPU is sitting on like what, 90 degrees. So I'm down by what, nine degrees on the GPU using the cooler. And you know, I've been playing for quite some time and, and the maximum I've seen is 81 degrees and then it drops to like 79, 80 itself. So you can see over here guys, 83 degrees, 78 on the CPU itself. So this is doing a pretty good justice over here. And fortunately this laptop is a bit long. So you're gonna have to sort of push it back or you know, to actually get the 444 millimeter fans to really blow that air in. But it does a whole lot of justice fellas. 81 degrees C on the GPU and 83 to to like 80 degrees ish on the cpu itself so a massive difference you know than before let me know what you guys think at the comments below so here we have it fellas the n80 rgb deep cool notebook cooler this is a beast of a notebook cooler fellas even i would say better than the massive 20 thermaltake rgb notebook cooler i was getting really awesome temperatures when i had it on but with this over here, fellas, I'm getting between 12 degrees less than what I was getting without a notebook cooler just by itself. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This was 60 Australian dollars for this and absolutely worth every penny. So now at least I'll be able to game on this beast of a GPU 1080 with the lovely G-Sync 120 hertz monitor on this beast of a, P of a laptop itself. But I would definitely recommend this, fellas. A whole lot of RGB-ness and, of course, you're able to really connect your mics to the back of the USB out output and on top of it really nice RGB by just pressing your button on this lovely fingerprint sign over there so you're able to really customize this to your heart's content let me know in the comments below what you guys think I am the Luke Gamer thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later deuces